Hello everybody and welcome out to episode one of Pod of War Retrocast. Retro, retro, retro. I'm your Gizmo, your wonderful host. I'm joined by Chris Masseldas Pengeli. I'm not saying it, this is a new podcast. Hello everyone. And we are today not talking about PlayStation because PlayStation is dead, Chris. It's all about Atari and yeah. 3DO yeah. and well, what else is dead? Sega. Mm. So, Chris, where do we begin? Well, we're going to be beginning with, we're going to play a little game. That's good, because this is about games. Oh, yes, that is um, true. We're not going to play a game like um, Jigsaw or whatever it's called in Saw, but as you, um, it's on your desk at the moment, there's a NES, NES Mini Classic, or Classic NES, whatever you want to call it. You've, you've said that well, the NES Mini. Yeah. Which I own and you don't. Yes, I don't own one. So you don't own something, Chris? I don't own something, and I actually won't own one, because yeah. they're like a thousand pounds. It's like exaggeration for me. <laughs> but they've been discontinued. Because? There's rumours that there's going to be a SNES classic coming, or Super Nintendo, or didn't, didn't SNES. I, didn't I tell you about this, like, six months ago? Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it was kind <laughs> of obvious that they were going to mostly do, do one. Um, does a few other things, like... Few people um, are thinking they've cancelled, you know, discontinued the NES Mini so they can push the virtual console on the Switch when it comes to the Switch. So it's like, oh, I will play your Super Mario Bros. 3 via Switch, um, sort of thing. Um, sell that for Christmas. Nintendo are not stupid. No. That's what it is. It's, um, they don't need to, you know, because everyone's, I know everyone's kicking up about it because it's limited, but they're genius. <laughs> they've now got a limited supply. They know full well when the SNES comes out that. People are going to pre-order the fuck out of it. Yeah, I'm going to pre-order it. It's right. like, I will, I will try the second it comes up. They know that you can you can buy the NES games on the Switch, on mm. the 3DS, whatever. They're not stupid. They know what they're doing. So, yeah. And now there's a collectible Nintendo item that people are going to want for the next Yes, there's like, Nintendo trials. items that always collect. Exactly. So. Um, so, yeah, this is what game we're going to play. We, the NES Mini has 30 games on it. Right. We're going to Fine. list our 30 games we want on the Super Nintendo Mini. Well, we're going to play it as a game. You're going to name a game. I'm going to name a game. We're going to have two lists of 15. And in the comments section, whatever you're going to say, who's got the best list of 15 SNES games. Right, and I will go with some caveats, because obviously I own an NES Classic. Yeah. And the NES Classic is not region-specific. Yeah. So we will include games that did not come out in Europe. Yeah. Which is most of the good Super Nintendo ones. Uh, yes. Um, there's one I want to put in... Because they're unlikely to happen is no licensed stuff, because obviously Lion King Aladdin is very unlikely to ever happen. Correct. Yeah. So we'll stick with games that Basically are... what the NES Mini sort of had, based yeah. on that. But as I will let you go first. Well, well I'm going to, you know, you've got to be... So we've had many arguments about Chris Pengeli's cheese, mm. okay? And so I'm going to pull a Super Nintendo card. My first Super Nintendo game that I have physically in front of me yeah. is Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. That is kind of itchy. <laughs> that's going to be... As, as Chris Pengeli... That's going to give you three, That's going to give you four games in one go. It's more than that. It's five games. <laughs> oh, yeah, because of um, Lost Levels. Lost. So, so an actual fact, because we'll, we'll play fair, I will have... Because I doubt they're going to put the Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. No, they will. I will put Super Mario World. Oh, well. One. Okay. That's mine. First game on the list of Dave. Okay, so that's you're on the list. Right? You're on the list. Yes, so that's your first choice. Super Mario World. Because it's amazing. It's okay, probably it's amazing. my favorite. Oh, I don't know. It's probably probably my favorite platform. Right. So. I will see your Super Mario World, and I will up that. My first choice is Chrono Trigger. See, that was one. See, I I've never played Chrono. Trigger. I've never played it either. That's why I'm putting you on the list. <laughs> now again. Not to sound like a dickhead, I'm pretty sure the only PAL release is the DS version. I don't think we got the PS1 version. No, plus it's co cross in it on the PS1. They did know there was a there is a PS1. Oh yeah, port. and it really bad as well. Yeah, really it's bad probably bad low time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, good choice. Right. I I see your Chrono Trigger. Yeah. And I raise you Final Fantasy VI. That is <laughs> that is a good choice. One of my favorite Final Fantasy games. And Final Fantasy is on the NES Classic. Yeah, that's so what I was that thinking. Square, well. There are Square games on um, NES Mini. Uh, six. Right, Chris. Okay. S- number two for the list of pendles. Yoshi's Island. Which is Super Mario World 2. Yeah. Great um, game. Yeah, that's personally my favourite SNES game. And my favourite 2D Mario game. 
What is the one reason it might not happen? What? The Super Mario... Cause it's, what, the GBA version? Well, the, the problem has always been, um, and again, they're quoting on this, there's always been an issue um, porting the Super Effect chip games, mm. so that might be an issue. Yeah, but sure. it should be, at least one version of the game should be on there. But, right. but surely you put the GBA version there at least. You could do. Mm. It's not snazzy, you know, is it? Mm. Right, so again, this is the this list so mm. far is so obvious. <laughs> you know, this what we what we missing? You're really missing some multiplayer. Yeah. So I'm gonna gonna go. You know, there's so it's it's too obvious, but Super Mario Kart yeah. is so obvious because it's just a great damn game, and obviously Mario Kart is really successful. This like at the moment, it's their yeah. best, biggest franchise. So there's no way that game's not on there. Yeah, that that is a good choice on there. Um. I see you, Super Mario Kart, with Super Street Fighter 2. Oh, I really, really wish they did. Street Fighter... I don't really care which version, but because there's like 8 million Street Fighter I actually 2. don't. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do that. But because of Ultra. Because of the hundreds of other ways you can buy Street Fighter. But, right, so, Super Mario World Final Fantasy 6, Super Mario Kart. Mmm. Like, I own a Super Nintendo. So I should know. So I'm gonna go the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Mm, that that is sort of that's a good game. That is a good uh, good game. I'm not a big 2D Zelda fan, but I would say that was a great game. By the way, if if these this this already makes it onto the things, no way this thing's costing less than hundred pounds. Mm. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> right, Chris, number four for list of Pengals. Number four of list of Pengals is going to be. Kirby Superstar. Oh. I've never game I presume you haven't played. No, I have played it. Oh, really? Yeah. You've played a game? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. I've actually played three of my four. I've played all of mine. Yeah, because even Final Fantasy VI. On the snares? Not on the snares, because no. I'm, I'm British and it didn't come out of here. Yeah. But I'm bitter. I'm sick. And it's not even six in America. It's three, isn't it? Yeah. Stupid American. Mm. Stupid. Right, number five of this today. It's gonna to get tougher now. Like I don't know how these. I'd love to know how they actually came up with this process. Right, interesting game. See, I could go. I keep going obvious. I could keep going Nintendo Red Party, which will just win my list. Yeah. Excuse the computer noise there. But I reckon. Mmm. Mmm. What do I think? It's a weird because you look at the NES Mini. It's got three Mario games. That's you know that's. 10% of your collection right there. All, we're obviously running up two on the snacks. All stars will definitely happen. They'll, they'll definitely happen in the game, but I don't want to put that where we've got Super Metroid. So I'm going to go Super Metroid. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Because it's another obvious one, and it's an incredible game that if you haven't played, you should play because it's really good. I don't like Metroid. <laughs> you don't like a lot of things. It's because you're a Sega fan, you know nothing. Okay, just says my next one Super Castlevania 4. Another good game. Of course. Have you beaten this one? I've not played Castlevania 4. Oh, Chris, you need to go home. The play. first Castlevania I played was Symphony of the Night. Really? You the, played it? The best Metroidvania people. I have to keep making out of my microphone. You should play the other Castlevania games because they're actually really good. Yeah. Um, right, Super Metroid. Mm. I have that. Uh, Let's say. Yeah, I can get that on Switch. That's that Switch. <laughs> That's which, right. So we've almost got all the big hitters now. Almost. There's still a few obvious ones. Mm. Um, I'm going to go for a game that no one's going to know if Americans listen to this. It's Starwing. Otherwise you known as Star Fox. Fox, but Starwing. Because, again, it's a game I played when I was younger. And still, most probably the best one apart from Lila Wars, maybe? Yeah, Lila Wars is a comfortable. I'd say that's not true. The um, Assault was decent. People. Mm. Have a lot of revisionist history about that game, but the soul is actually decent. So Chris number six. My number six. I'm going for another one I've not played, but I really, Stop. I really want to play it. Yeah. Act Razor. Oh, that's a good game. Um, those guys went on to make one of my favourite PS1 games, Grand Stream Saga. It's not very good. It's, but it's like I really like that game. Act Razor Two is also terrible. Hmm. So I, I see you, Act Razor, yeah. and I raise you Earthbound. Oh, <laughs> or Mother 2. Mother 2. I have beaten that game, mm. as I beat it when it came to Wii U. Yeah. Incredible game. 
See, I have you played bought, it? I bought it. Uh, I've played it for five minutes. I could not get it into it. It is so good. When you, when you get past the initial like weirdness, it's so good. It's mm. all amazing. So how many have you got so far on your list? I'm on seven. I'm, I'll be honest with you, my seven is kicking the shit. Apparently. How is your seven kick? I've got it's Chrono Trigger, Yoshi's <laughs> Island, and Street Fighter. Well, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Star Wing, Final Fantasy VI, and Earthbound. It is a good list. <laughs> That's a good list. <laughs> it is a good list. Come on, Chris. Next, next one. Mm. Next one. Next. Right. We're going for. I've got some help out for us, Chris. Oh, okay. This is one obvious actor, Super Mario RPG of the seven stars. Which again didn't come out over here because it says it's on the Virtual Console. I know. So screw you, Square, because it didn't come out in the cartridge. There's a really obvious one I completely forgot about. That I'm going to do now. Uh, that's Donkey Kong Country One. Okay. Because I like that one. The second one's better, but the first one is. Legendary. Well, the next one is clearly going to be Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. Again, have you played this game? Yes, I have. Have you been it? No, I have Really bad AI. It's the only problem with the mm. game. It's a great game. Oh, God. Chris, I'm just going to keep destroying you. <laughs> and I'm going to go Mega Man X. Because that's another great game. It's that is a great game. Mega Man 1. One of the Mega Mans is on the NES Classic as well, so... You've got nine. Oh, I'm trying to think what else you could even put on. We've got to start thinking about the weird stuff now. Yeah, the weird. I kind of want to see what was on the NES Mini, to be honest. While you're looking that up, I will put on Super Bomberman. Good okay. game. Yeah. yeah, Superman is a, you know, it's quite game, you know, we'll put Saturn Bomb Man if we could have the best version of Bomb Man, but... They will okay. never do a Saturn Mini, so let's not worry about that. No. Nah. It's some great, some great games. Star mm. Tropic, wow. I'm so glad I don't know. Mm. Right, I'm going to go Super Punch-Out. Mm. Because that, that would make my list more interesting. Of course, the follow-up to Punch-Out. Brilliant. Right, you got your tent. Right, I am going to go... Donkey Kong Country 2. Ooh. Which is the better one? Which is the better one, but I think you're more likely to see. Probably. I think you're just going to see all three, to be honest. I'm trying to think about it. So we've got a fun game. Mm. Right. Snares games. 100 best. We're just trying to do research now because obviously me and Chris, as wonderful as we are, no. have not played. That, see, I was a mini drive kid. See, I was. I have a, I have a Super Nintendo, but they okay. Right, this was on the internet. Mm. Well, I'm just going to have to wing it. Right, so. I'm going to go for a Capcom game, Ooh. because you've got one, and I'm going to go for... You've already got one. You've got Mega Man, mate. Oh, Mega Man X. I'm going to go for Final Fight, Ooh. to make it a bit more interesting. F-Zero. I'm really surprised it's taking you that long to get there. I already had Mario Kart, so I didn't want to drive again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four more games I've got. This is, uh, I've got still got a few trump cards, you know. Still got a few trump cards, Pengi. Oh, I haven't got a particularly good uh, Super Nintendo collection. So. No, I was more just looking to see how. It's, it's, my, it's my childhood collection. So it's, not, it's not much of a help, mate, to be honest. Oh, look at all these games. A lot of them shouldn't be on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Harvest Moon. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. I would play that game. 
that is a re- sort of different as well. Because of Stardew Valley, so that's, that's a good idea. Mm. Well, done, well done, me. That's also well done to me. It's I oh I have not really got many options left. It's actually harder than you know. I well, this is one of the, this is one of those things as well because we we were very young mm. when this console came out, so mm. we haven't got the nostalgia with the older ones. Uh, whatever Dragon Quest is on, the, like whatever Dragon Warrior came out in the United States, that was easy to put on, <laughs> translate it already. So bad. Doom. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yes. I didn't think about like a first person shooter or anything like that. Doom. See, when I think of, uh, it's really weird because uh, when I think of Super Nintendo, I do think of like all the first party that's, games. That's, when you think of any Nintendo console, you think about the first party games. Um, we've pretty it. much got all the first party games. That's, the uh, there's the obvious one of Killer Instinct, but obviously that's not going to happen. It's rare. It's rare. Um, I suppose Donkey Kong Country Three might as well have all of them on there. Oh. Super Mario All Stars. Okay. Boom. There's no way my list isn't better. There's no way my list isn't better. So that leaves us on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You got two more things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm scratching. Oh, I'm really thinking about this now. Um. I've already got Seeker of Mana, haven't I? Yeah. Good Castle Vinny 4. Street Fighter. Do, 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 do. Mortal Kombat 2? <laughs> Even though there's a Mega Drive version, it's better. Right. And I don't know if they would put like two about one, something just. Seems like, well, which Mega Man was it though? Was it Mega Man 2? The NES, so maybe they would do that. that was, yeah, they have the best Mega mm. Man. Right, I suppose. Hmm. I'm going to go for your favourite publisher, Konami. Yeah. And I'm going to go for Contra 3. Yeah, sure. Hey, I don't really care about Contra. You love a bit of Konami though. Well, I've got Super Castlevania. Huh? What else do you want? You give the money, Chris. If you buy it, you get money. You give the money. That's how it works. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it does come when you have money. Oh, I don't, I don't like this, uh, this idea anymore. Right, let's have a look. I'm trying to see what else came to Super Nintendo. There's gonna be lots of people that like if they do put any comments, they're gonna be like you, you guys are a bunch of idiots. You miss so and so and so and so. Um, actually, let's um, put Mega Man Seven on there. Mega Man. So that, that rounds out the list. So let's go through. We'll go with your list because it's so underwhelming. So Chris, you just list your list there. I have Chrono Trigger, um, arguably arguably one of the best JRPGs made. Which you've not played. Yoshi's Island, the best 2D Mario. Mm-hmm. Super okay. Street Fighter 2, mentally... One of the best. One it's of like the best 2D... Um, versions of Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Uh, Kirby Superstar, great. Uh, you know, bunch of mini games, lots of different games on that. So great little collection of that. Super Castle 184 gives you a Metroid type game experience. You know, really good. At Razor, the... Oh, a, a cult classic. You've never played Super Castle because it's not like Metroid. It's the last... Uh, yeah, I know. It's the last proper <laughs> Castle Um At Razor, you know, a cult classic really good, JRPG. Yeah, really um, Super, Mario, uh, Super Mario RPG. You know, Incredible Square. Game. Really good. You got Secret of Mana, more of an action RPG, it gives you your Zelda sort of like experience. You got your Super Bomber Man, it gives you your, you know party multiplayer. If they could put four control ports on the stairs, would be great. No. <laughs> then you got Donkey Kong Country uh, two and three, the best two Donkey Kong Country games. So. Oh, I don't know about the third, but right, okay. Um, so that's really good. F Zero for your sort of futuristic racing. It's not like you're getting an F Zero game anytime soon, anyway. Um, Dragon Warrior, I can't remember which one's came to sna- the snares, but, you know, another game. One of them did. Uh, another RPG, which ones did come to, please check which ones came on there. I cannot confirm. I'm pretty sure there's a Dragon Warrior. There's got to be a Dragon Warrior, Dragon. Yeah, it's 
Oh, I don't know. There's bound to be one on that Super Nintendo. I'm sure the comments will tell you if you're wrong. Um, Mortal Kombat 2 is another fighting game. It is better on the Mega Drive, but, you know, what you can do, you can got to have a version of Mega Man 7, because everyone loves that Mega Man from that era. So that list is cute. It's a good list. Good basically, I used my trump card to begin with, and then I was like, screwed. So so for the premier list, the Dave list, Super Mario World. Your son is better. What, still one of the best games on the console. Final Fantasy VI. Chrono Trigger is bigger. Um, Oh, you've, apparently so. You've not, again... I've not played you, either of you've, them. You've, you've not played, you haven't played six? Okay. No, I'm not played six. So you're, I know you're, what happens. So, you're, so, you're, so your argument is more... Just be quiet. Yeah. You've not played either of them. Final Fantasy VI is one of the best Final Fantasy games Yeah, but made. you you would mostly say Chrono Trigger is better. If you ask most people, they would say Chrono Trigger is better, right? So, that's, that's your own so, opinion? So, two of mine are better than two of yours so far. That's yeah. not true. Yeah, that's, that's, true. So, that's so subjective. Yeah. I've, anyway, Super Mario Kart... I give you that's better, than, that's better than Asteroid. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. It's better than Secret of Mana. Super Metroid is better than Castlevania 4. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Starwing, you haven't got a game like uh, it. No, but I suppose you would put maybe. You would put. Uh, no, you wouldn't even put. I don't know what you put. Gents. Yeah, you wouldn't put anything against that. On Earthbound. So if you team that with Final Fantasy VI, it's definitely better than Chrono Trigger. Yeah, RPGs. but I would have Chrono Trigger and Actraiser. I'm raising have Earthbound. You, have you played Angry Razor? No, but I think <laughs> Earthbound, I would mostly say, is the better RPG, but they're on similar level of cult classic status. The same sort of state, you know, neither of them going to really... I don't know, I think Earthbound's more well-known. Well, yeah, well it's more well-known well now and stuff like that, but I think they're sim To the general consumer that would buy a SNES Mini, you know, the SNES Mini or whatever, they'd be like, huh, Act Razor and Earthbound? If, if, that is your, if that is your argument, there is no way in God's green earth mm. a casual fan knows what Chrono Trigger is compared to Final Fantasy VI. Mm, yeah, good point. No way in yeah. earth. Um, Donkey Kong Country 1, I, it's an iconic game. More than I more have two wishes. Two is better, but one is a great game. Mega Man X. I have seven. I have better. the Mortar edition of Mega Man. But X is better. And, yeah. and, and more associated with Super Nintendo. Yeah, okay. Um, Super Punch Challenge is a great game. I got more combat and Street Fire. Yeah. I'm better. I got better, better fight. Better fight. Yeah. Better fight. Better fight. It's a good beat em up. I don't, oh, think, yeah, don't think you've got a beat em up. No, because when I think of beat em ups, I think, think Streets of Rage yeah, and Golden Axe. Um, Harvest Moon. Yeah, I haven't got anything like that. Sleeper hit for that. Mm. Doom. Mm. Yeah, great game. Oh, great. A shooter. So you've already got that. Super Mario All Stars, four amazing games. See, my only and one. The first really good remakes. In uh, gaming. The only game I would put against that is Kirby Superstar and Mario All Stars. Is better. Yeah, it's got Mario 3 on it. Yeah. Remade with better graphics. So mm. Win. And Contra 3, another mm. side scrolling multiplayer game by the greatest publisher of all time, Konami. Mm. Yeah. So I think my list is better. Yeah. But you can give your own opinion in the comments. Yeah, so you that would also... be a 30 game, so that is a pretty decent 30 game. To be fair, if that was if that was the thing and it was 120 to 150 quid, I'd probably buy it. I can't see there's no if it's got 30 games, guys, there is no way on God's green earth mm. that it's cheaper than hundred pounds. And I don't think it's gonna cheaper than 120 pounds. If you think that's five, if you put five quid a game, mm. that's 150 quid. Mm. Plus the hardware. Plus save states. There's no way. No way. Mm. And it will sell. And I'll tell you what, it will, they'll make three million and they'll sell out within like a month. Yeah. And we'll probably both be two of those people. Yeah. And sure. we'll probably get the special edition that comes with a keychain and a t shirt like the one I got this time. So that's our lists. Yeah. That was section one of the retro cast. Section yeah. two, Chris, is basically what we've been playing, what we've been doing with retro, um, our plans, basically just a general retro, retro talk. We've done a lot of retro. Since yeah. the last time we did a podcast in which we mentioned any retro. Yeah. So I don't. I don't well, I sort of did because I talked about PSP. So we'll, we'll start with the PSP because we both have bought PSPs. Yeah, it's not. One really... of us has gone a bit more insane than the other. Yeah. Let's just say it's Chris. So I we'll start because I'm, I'm yours is going to take you ages. So I bought a PSP yeah. White uh, Street. I can't. It's the 1003 E1003 mm, model. Yeah. Um, game are currently selling off their old, their old new stock. That's a weird sense. So they're basically their new stock of PSPs. Um, some games. It's on their website. Forty pounds. I bought it for brand new. Yeah, they're only games though. They're they had um, Chris, uh, Crisis Core, cool, brand new for twenty. Last yeah, yeah. It's not worth that, yeah. but um, it's on. You saying the best PSP game is not worth twenty quid? Uh, not when you can buy it by the same. If it was the limited edition, you can buy the same edition. Mm. Like when I bought it for fifty p. Yeah. So like you know, um, see, so yeah, I bought it with Crystal Chronicles, Crystal Chronicles, Crisis Core, yeah. and Crystal Chronicles. It haunts me. Mm. Um, Burnout Legends, which is Burnout 1, 2, and 3, greatest, greatest hits. Basically. Yeah, sure. And I have Lord of the Rings Tactics, which I saw for like £2, and I was like, 
It's a Lord of the Rings strategy RPG, and I beat it in three hours. Both stories. <laughs> it's got loads of movie clips. It's great. It's wonderful. Um, I suppose three hours doesn't sound long, but I suppose on the portable on the On the portable one, I paid like a pound for it. Like, yeah. whatever. Um, love the console. I forgot how much yeah, I love the console. Yeah, I've never really touched any 1000. I'm looking at the year. In black, they always look really nice. Oh, yeah, but I know why. Yeah, it yeah. looks really not. It does look really nice in the back of it, how like all the battery in the game is housed and easy to get to your memory card as well at the top. It's really nice, actually. Mm-hmm. Screen's decent. It's like, and the only the only real issue with it, it's got no online, which doesn't actually matter now because online's busted. Mm. Um, it's got mono sound from the console. Yeah. If you plug it into headphones, it's stereo. It's stereo. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I'm really impressed. I, the only issue, I've, the only thing I even noticed about the PSP that I don't like is how loud it loads, but that's because it's got a disc drive. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, my again, you're going to talk about it in way more detail because also you play, you've bought a lot of PSP. Mm. Um, I would say. Oh, if, if you're going to collect handheld mm. and you've never bought a handheld console before, uh, I would recommend the PSP as your first one. Because the, the only price. other one I would mostly say is DS. Basically, either, DS, of, yeah, it's true. either of those But the big era. one, the DS, I mean, obviously, well, the PSP has a battery issue if mm. you're going to buy an old used one. Which I bought. Which, you, which you, you have a lot of issue. Because I bought it new, I don't. Mm. Uh, the DS is a hinge monster. Mm. To get a good like DS, you, you, know, you want to spend a bit of money. Ultimately, because there's 600 million versions of the DS, mm. that's not as much of an issue. You can get a DSi XL, which is probably mm. the best way to go. But yeah, and I, you know, the graphics are pretty bad on the DS. The PSP graphics still hold up. Mm. Totally. That depends on the game. If you like playing Pokemon or whatever, and you're yeah. playing Chrono Trigger and stuff like you that. Can't, yeah, probably Pokemon is not cheap. Either, that's no, the that's the thing. They're not even cheap. Chrono Trigger isn't. That's the problem with the DS. Most of the games you want to play are still. Um, Holding that sweet Nintendo value. Well, I, I held on to most of my expensive ones, so I've got Final Fantasy 2. I've got, um, is it 2? No, it's 4 and 3, isn't mm, it? Yeah. So I've still got both of those. I've got Sonic Chronicles, Dark Brotherhood, great game. That is a great game. <laughs> and uh, like, so I don't have Chrono Trigger. I wish mm. I had Chrono Trigger. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my PSP. Now, Chris is going to talk for like an hour about. Because for people that don't listen to this or haven't spoken to Chris in the forum, he's got a bit of a problem. And he, he can't help himself. So if he sees something, he'll buy all of it. To the point of which... So that's the man with how much Warhammer? I've got a lot of Warhammer. But I use my Warhammer. That's yeah, the difference. Good point. But how, yeah, how much Warhammer have you used? Yeah, okay. So Chris has bought PSP. Yeah. Which model did you buy? I bought 3,000. Did you buy in black? It is black. Nice. Um, We might have talked about it on the last podcast. I think Possibly. I might have bought it then. Yeah, I... Bought it. Mine was 45 quid as well. It's a uh, sort of new refurbished and that. But I am having the battery issue. I bought a new battery. It's coming from Hong Kong, so it's going to take forever to get here. Yeah. So I have used my PSP, like plugging it into the like electric and letting it get a bit of charge. But that's how I can play. Playing it, play some MotorStorm. I'll take Edge. Edge is a great game. It is really good. It actually graphically looks really nice. As well. Yeah, it's really weird because like all those PSP games, like those first party ones, came to like late PS2 to keep the PS2 going. Including what, most of them. Was like the PS3 yeah. was out, so it's like oh, it was like the you know the PS2 was like the cheaper console, a hundred quid. So we had new games, had like platinum range. It was all the you know that sort of audience. But yeah, as you say, I went a little bit. A little uh, bit loopy. Yeah, because I bought the PSP with a bunch of games, like I said maybe in the last podcast. Console was 45 quid. Um, so, you know, I got like Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 2, I think it's Acid, Portable Ops, um, that's Metal Gear games. And a few things like that. Um, I think they had like five games. Then I went on eBay and I bought a bundle of like 14 games for 35 quid. Which I think you put a video up, didn't you? I did do an unboxing yeah, so video. Check out. Chris's channel if you want to watch him. In Bundle that, PSP. in that box, uh, you know, some great games. There was God of War in there. Which one? I want to say Ghost of Sparta. I, I prefer Chains of Olympus, but Ghost of Sparta is the best. Uh, game two Tomb Raider games. Yeah. Gran that's... Turismo. I think Burnout, like uh, the Burnout you've got. Yeah, I need to get Burnout Dominator, which is the one that's actually a sequel. But uh-huh. yeah, Burnout Legends is pretty good. There's a few bits and pieces. There's all like real. Decent games, there's no bad games in there. A couple of platinums, which annoyed me, don't want platinum. See, yeah, two of my three are platinums, because platinums do not affect me, and I do not mind. Oh, it is fine. Um, but the one really why I bought this uh, bundle was that had Castlevania Dracula X in it, which obviously has a wonder of blood, the Turbo Graphics game. 
and it has also yeah. Symphony of Night. How much did you pay for this bundle? Very something. Which is a re- like probably I mean, fourteen games. Probably no. Exactly. Castlevania is probably half that. And Castlevania um, is one of the most expensive PSP games on this twenty five quid. Yeah, so like you you got a crazy good deal. That that's why I started collecting PSP. Like like I said, the most expensive game pr- pretty much is Castlevania. It's twenty five quid on PS one. Sixteen ninety is like hundred quid. Yeah. That's like the difference. It's such a, it's like got six something like six hundred games on the PSP. But everything is so dirt cheap. Well, it's like I haven't paid more than two pound fifty for a game. Yeah. I've got Crisis Core, which is one of the best games on the console. Yeah. You know, fifty p. And what I will say, the thing, the smart thing to do, if you buy a more, if you buy a three thousand or a two thousand, you also get TV output, which I've just bought. Which cable. is yeah, it's like know, a gold plated component. Which is thing. another great. And this that cable was not expensive. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine. It was like three quid. You know, it's so like if you want to collect for a console uh, and you're young or you just want to start something cheap. Mm-hmm. The PSP, if you can get a 2000 or 3000 model for about £50, a good battery, um, get that cable for, say, £3. I bought a 4 gig memory card for £1.75. I think brand I bought, new. I think I bought, I don't know how big mine is, for quite a big it, one. You don't need a big one at all. Like, no. like, I think well, you, you can because you can install like, it's the City or two, though. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you bought like you bought like 64 gig or something. Didn't yeah. You? Like, again, 4 gig I will never use. Go big or go home. Yeah, it's true. It's compensating. But, like, the save file size, for example, is like a meg. Mm. If that so, totally like, and there is some great games. Some yeah, great I mean, games like if you look at our SNES list and stuff, okay, Chrono Trigger is not on there, not but Final Fantasy VI is not on there, but you still got Final Fantasy One, Two, Four, War of the if, Lions. If you like JRP, if you like RPGs, yeah. uh, the PSP is an incredible system. If you like yeah. racing games, is an incredible system. Yeah, and then like we've got Mega Man on this. There's a, I'm pretty sure there's a Mega Man collection. There is, um, there's a. I don't know if there's a collection. There is a Mega Man remake mm. with um, like Dracula X. Yeah. I think it's Mega Man One. Don't quote me on that, but, but it's, it's called Mega Man Powered Up. I think. Even like if you don't want to collect and you want to play some of these classic games you've heard of, it's still it's a cheap way to play. Like a simple, obviously you could download it on PSN or something like that. But. Yeah, but if you want if you want physical and you want yeah. your collection, I get that. Like if you want to, if you want to be able to play it in like twenty years time and service it down. So I bought that lot. So that gave me like twenty games. Then my grandparents picked up a bunch at the boot sale. Shout out to Chris's grandparents. So I got Daxter, Need for Speed, Great Carbon. Game. I fucking love Daxter. And I can't remember the uh, Untold Legends. Nice. I don't know what Sony thing that. Have you played Daxter? I played that. Play, play, yeah, I played that. I one played that at university. It was my only game I had for six months. Mm. I 100 completed it. It was top game. Did you get that? Oh, oh no, you don't have Platinum Choices. It's the only problem with the PSP, but then every other console part of PlayStation has that problem. So. Yeah. Um, so got that, and I picked a few other things up. Um, CX's game shops. I bought uh, Breath of Fire free. Um, I bought this afternoon. I bought Final Fantasy four, the complete after collection. You got a really good deal on that as well. Yeah, I ain't paid a five cash for it. It had like it's got it's still got the in the packaging the white that comes with it. It's got the tarot cards. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. It's one after years, it's, after years it isn't that great, mm-hmm. but it's it's probably, Final Fantasy four. Fun, yeah, Final Fantasy four is Final Fantasy. It? Yeah, it's the one I've got. Final Fantasy Four is mm. arguably the best of that era. Right. You know, I still think I don't include six because six is too close to seven. But mm. if you're going from one to five, I think four probably is the best. Mm. And um, it's probably it's mm. it's not quite the best version. It depends if you if you prefer sprites, mm. it's the best. That is the best version of that game you can get. Yeah. If you don't, if you want some 3D models, obviously the DS version is really good as well. Yeah. But to have the half the years in that gen, it's limited edition. It's in good condition as well. So. Yeah, it's in pretty de- de- yeah, decent. Yeah, decent. So, so I've now so. got 32 PS3 and games. How We're, many of those games have you completed? I've not even really played any. I played some Arctic Edge. I was going to start, start some John Dark, wow. which is supposed to be like a super. Have game. you got the Siphon Filter games yet? No, I haven't. They're really good on games. This thing, there's we so could, many games. There's so game. many dang great games like. The Ratchet um, Clank games. Yes, yeah, uh, exactly. Jack, Jack and Dax, The Lost Frontier. Yeah, that was quite a big one. Um, the ones I want really at the moment are Persona One, Two, and Three. Three, four. The probably you you say Dracula X is expensive. Persona Three, you can get it for about twenty seven quid. It's this is the thing that is like an Atlas title. What out that on PS One or PS Two is. 40, 50 quid. Yeah. Easily. PSP, 20 something. And there is no easy way, really. Because even if you download that beta, that is still £25 for download. Yeah. Which is annoying. Mm. But... Um, the only thing annoying is Persona 2 is split in two halves, and it's a bit of a plain pain, because... Bit of a plane. Yeah, a bit of a plain. There's a plane outside. <laughs> That's why, um, yeah, it's a bit of a um, pain, because I'm not sure which half is on the PSP. But one half is still stuff, if you want to play it in English, 
one half is still stuck on the PS1. Which and is one, expensive. And one half, yeah, which is expensive. And one half is stuck on the PSP. Um, obviously, you can play both on the Vita, I believe. You can download the PS1. That's why I'm right on, um, yeah, this is the thing with uh, technology. Mm. Eternal punishment. And... Innocent sin, yeah. I don't know which one comes first. Innocent sin comes first, and he's on the PSP. Yeah. Confirmed. Mm. Sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to read it. Yeah, internal punishment. I love that. It came out 2011 on the mm. PSP. Internal punishment must be is the one that's stuck on the um. PS one then. It's not actually a sequel. Okay. It's an alternate version of the game. Yeah, this like that a... is Japanese PSP. It's never been released in Europe. Yeah. So. It's weird, but there is a North American version. There is a North American version. I don't. One version. I don't know if it's on PS then though. That's what I'm saying. But it's a bit of a pain if you want to play the complete like Persona Tiger. It's true. It, it, so for context, if you want to know what what our game is, it is mm. essentially a side version of the first of Persona Two. Mm. So that's good old Atlas. That's the pain in the ass. Yeah. So you know it's, it's strange, but yeah, there's more games I want to pick up. And I've also been looking at special edition PSP consoles, like the Final Fantasy Crisis Core One. And have you got Crisis Core? Yeah? You no, no I haven't. No. I haven't bought Crisis. It's like the game I want for, like, bought a PSP for again. It's literally the game I bought PSP for. <laughs> and I've not played it. It's, like, it's just, like, really weird. And I've not even looked at, like, imports and stuff like that yet, because, like, Type Zero is on the PSP. Obviously, but, yeah, you have to play it. Yeah, but... Which yeah. I gave you the nice version one. Yeah. Because I'm not... I'm not even still tip, yeah. still, but... It's too nice, too good to list. Yeah. So that was the PSP yeah. from the PlayStation section of our stuff. What else have you done today, Chris? I've sold my Sega Saturn. Why have you sold your Sega Saturn, Chris? Sega Saturn is a weird system to me. Um, first system, Mega Drive. You know, I got. I think I got Mega Drive in 1993, I want to say. Because we're old. It is, so, like, I don't know if I got it for Christmas or ja- if birthday. So if it's birthday, it'd be January 93. If it's Christmas, it'd be December Either 93. Either way, it's over 20 years ago. It is a long time it's ago. It's a long time ago. Um, I can tell you, like, I had Aladdin and Sonic 2, so maybe you can work out by then which one it might have been. Great system. And then, when it came to, like, 95, 96 and stuff like that, I remember saying to my uncle, who got me my Mega Drive, like, oh, I want to say your Saturn. He was like, so your Saturn's dead. No point in getting one, it's dead. You want, PS- you want PS1. And I was like, okay. So, I- and then suddenly, he turns up one night with a PS1, no games, nothing. So we had to go to the video shop, rent a 2 Raider, and bought a memory card. Good times. So this, and that was back when no one ca- cared about age ratings or anything. He'd like, I would have been like five or six and just went and rented Tomb Raider. Which is pretty gory. Uh, yeah. Um, so back, you know, back in the day. So I had a PS1. Then my nan won an N64 in an Android competition. Nice. So I had an N64. Love it. Yeah, I had an N64 <laughs> and a PS1. And those are my consistent. And you were the most popular kid around the corner. Yeah, both of those guys. Yes, so I. Well. Yeah. Um. um <laughs> Now, I think I was, like, the only one in the estate that had, like, like a PS4. Like yeah, that had both of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I never had a Saturn, and I've gone back to it a couple of times. And unlike, let's say, like, PS1, when I think of PS1, there's, like, Resident Evil 2, Metal Gear Solid, obviously Symphony of Night, these big games that really stand out. If you look at the N64, it's Ocarina of Time, um, Super Mario 64, and stuff like that. If you look at the Sega Saturn, it's... Racing Evil 2 did come to the N64 and GameCube and that. I was it's, too confused with Saturn. It didn't come to Saturn. That's, that's strange. Oh, it came to the Dreamcast, that's okay. Uh, yeah. It's 98. Yeah, it's uh, really weird. But you look at the Saturn, you think of big games, you do think of like Panzer the Dream Saga, which is like a million pound. Um, Nights into Dream stuff. But it's missing that, you know, it missed that 3D Sonic game. Yeah. You know, it's missing all those big games. You look back at it now and you go, Right, the games that are really worth playing are really expensive. Yeah. And then you've got the third party games and stuff from like Tomb Raider, you can play on PS1 and it's like cheaper. And Resident Evil. Yeah, no, it's yeah. cheaper on, it's, it's a better version on PS1. Yeah, and you've got like Resident Evil, that's the first yeah. one. And it's just like really, it's a really weird system because I expect if I had one back in 1995, all those games would have been, you know, great games, new and stuff. But now going back to them, it's really hard. And like really to feel anything from Saturn. Um, 
so yeah, I didn't pay much for my Saturn, and I got quite a bit for it. So I'm going to reinvest that money back into gaming. I like I said, I might get a special edition PSP. There's a few options that you've been waiting. We've we've talked about this a couple times, um, mm. not recorded. Yeah. But me and Chris, me and Chris, Chris is way worse than I am. Mm. Like I'm pretty bad, but Chris will buy everything and anything. So, the, so well, some of the consoles we've talked about mm. for, for you to buy, we've talked about Atari Jaguar, which I believe mm. you already owned. I've owned two. Uh, Neo Geo CD, which I believe you already owned. I've owned one. You know, this is there's a, there's a theme here. Um, there's obviously the special edition PSP. Which I have owned. I've a owned a Monster Hunter and a Crisis Core and a Dissidia. A special edition PS3. Yeah, I've only actually ever owned one PS3 and that was a 60 gig. That was the launch one. Yeah, because I'm a crazy man. That it is, no, I'm launched. just crazy that you've owned it, like, because... Oh, you like I said you own like four versions of every console. Yeah, it's amazing to me. You've only ever owned one PS3 because it's the best PS3. I, I had a PS3. I only mm. have one. Um, it's it's interesting. That era of games is very interesting. Yeah. Um, the Saturn. Mm. See, I have a different growing because I I very similar to you. Mm. I was Sega. I had a Master mm. System too because mm. I'm very old. Yeah. Um, even though I'm older. Even though you're older by a month. But um, then I had a sort of Super Nintendo which I still own, which was physically mm. in this room. Mm. And my dad, I remember my dad went to buy an N64, um, and went into Curry's, I mm. think, and bumped into his mate who told him to buy a PS1. Yeah, now, exactly I had, like my uncle told me, pretty, you know, I would get a PS4. Pretty much. That. Now, I had a cousin um, who had a Sega Saturn, so yeah. I wanted a Sega Saturn. I didn't, I didn't want an N64 or a place, so I wanted a Saturn. Um, I remember playing a game called Reloaded, which was a top-down gory shooter. More than PS1. Um, it was I know it was on PS1. But I eventually did get PS1, and I played Croc Legend of Gobos mm. on the Sega Saturn, which again I own. I believe I own two copies of mm. on the PS1. I don't know how. And I yeah, so I really love the Saturn. Mm. I like I love Virtual Fighter. This is I the love thing. Daytona. We you know with the SNES Classic, like the NES Mini, I didn't pre-order one because I've not got that much. Nostalgia for the NES Mini. I per- or the NES, I should say. I personally think the NES nostalgia is an Americanized thing. We didn't really have the NES over here. The, we, the were ma- we were we were we were master system, system yeah. and we were microcomputers over here. It's we've been like I I don't want to use the word brainwash, but that's like obviously with YouTube celebrities, yeah. most are American. They talk about their gaming history. They talk about the NES, well, and it's just sort of be ingrained well, to us. The thing about um the the NES mm. and the Super Nintendo especially mm. is we didn't get a lot of the games. Mm. A lot of the games were neutered because of um it's like Ninja Gaiden was Ninja Warrior and no, it wasn't even Ninja because you couldn't use the word Ninja mm. over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there was yeah, like game, hero tales. And game yeah and games were like weird and like so yeah. I I had a I've got a cousin who had an NES but they like they didn't get it till like I had a PS one. So again I never saw an NES when it was like no. relevant. And to be honest with you, mm. like Mario aside. Mm. I have no nostalgia for the NES. I, I love my NES. Mario, Mario, Mario Bros. 3 is amazing. Yeah, Mario Bros. Mario Bros. 1 and 3 out of 2 is okay. Mm. But, um... Me, W. 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 Panic. But, see, having that, mm. I've been able to play Final mm. Fantasy. Again, it's, it's more for me, it's more going back. Yeah. So, like, Final Fantasy 1. I've like, a had, like a history. Like you know, a history. Like I said, yeah. I'm a game developer as well, so like, that mm. interests the crap out of me. And, like, me and my friends tried to play Punch-Out. Mm. And, my God, the, my God, the games are hard on this thing. Mm. You know, Ninja Gaiden kicked my ass mm. pretty hard. You know what you need to do? Battletoads kicked my ass. Get good. You need to buy one. Mm. <laughs> yes, but like the SNES Mini. The SNES Mini is different because the SNES was a lot more popular. In yeah, I remember playing playing I one back as a kid. I have a SNES. Like on, I, on this date, I had a Mega Drive and a girl around the corner had the SNES. Be like, you talk, you talk to a girl? I know, I talked to a girl. Oh it's God. crazy. But like we're the only ones on like these like had games consoles, and we're like we're like the most two pot like like kids, and it's like oh, I played the SNES, you know, they played the Mega Drives, but I have. You know, looking at those games, I do have nostalgia for like some of those games, even though I didn't play that much of them. But then you look at the Saturn, I have no nostalgia for the no. Saturn. It's hard to have nostalgia for the Saturn. It's like you said, the, the first party wasn't great. It was, it was really weak from saying that. You know, like, they, especially because obviously the whole American mm. release mm. D- fiasco. Mm. Um, you know, if you had like gimmed versions of a lot of games, like the big stuff like Shenmue didn't come to it in the mm. end, like Sonic Extreme got cancelled. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's just weird. It's just that the Saturn is a weird console. The Super Nintendo mm. 
is still a fairly weird console in Europe. Yeah. I mean, to, like for me, like I said, I've got my Super Mario All Stars, Super Mario World Kart. I've got Street Fighter Two, mm. and then the most played game on my Super Nintendo, which I still own, mm. is the Super Game Boy, mm. because the Game Boy was very popular. Yeah. And if you remember a little game called Pokemon, yeah. it was in full color if you played it on the Super yeah, Game Boy. Yeah. So that's that's really what my Super Nintendo memory is you mm. know, before I moved to PlayStation. Mm. And um, Final Fantasy VII came out, and me and my friend Craig, mm. shout out to Craig, mm. used to sit in his brother's room. Mm. After we, we, we would go downstairs and play um, his Mega CD and mm. his Mega Drive, mm. and we'd play Street to Rage or whatever. Mm. Yeah. And then once his mum had gone out, we went upstairs and played Final Fantasy VII. No. You know, like that's PlayStation for me. But yeah, the Saturn doesn't have that. Yeah, that's the problem. And so, yeah, I sold the Saturn, so looking at PSP maybe, possibly looking at PS3s. Which obviously is not retro, but it's ten, over 10 years old, the PS3. It celebrated its 10th anniversary in Europe in March. Absolutely frightening. It's older than that if you include the original Japanese, like, America in like, 2006. I've got a 360 under the desk. Yeah. That's a 12-year-old console. Yeah, I know. How old are we? Like, I remember the day I bought it. Like, it's, it's a core as well. Mm. I remember the day I bought it. Yeah. I'm surprised it's still going. I know. I'm very young. Again, I'm, I've got a computer science degree, so <laughs> it gets taken apart regularly. Yeah, um, so PS3 is a weird one, but the consoles can be picked up relatively cheap. Yes. And games can be picked up relatively cheap. And there is, like, so many good games on that console. Even if you, like, just count your last of us in your chance. Yeah, anything's on PS4. Take but you still got Nina Kune. Nina Kune is the only reason I think I would rebuy a PS3. Catherine. I know you can buy it for I've beaten Catherine. Um, the two Persona fighting games. You can get one for 60. Um, there is other stuff I want to play on it. It's I think, mainly weird Japanese stuff. I think Japanese RPGs and remasters. If yeah. you get it, like, see, and like I never played Jackson Daxter and I thought by the HD. Yeah. I know it's coming on PS. And it's on Vita. Yeah, it's just it's a game version. Of it. Don't don't mind the Vita version. <laughs> but I think I think with the PS3, the most interesting thing is I think that's what you like. Mm-hmm. If you were to walk into a shop today and have a choice out of the 360 and the PS3, mm-hmm. if you own an Xbox One and PS. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a very hard decision because you've got most of the great PS3 games on PS4, mm. but almost all of the great PS6 games can be played on mm. an Xbox One. Yeah. So it's 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 a weird, especially because and it's mm. a hard even talk because obviously we lived that console generation as young adults. Yeah. So that is the console generation we probably have the most financial attachment to. Yeah. Because what? Well, how old were we when that came up? Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. So like from fifteen to twenty. 25, I guess, mm. we were buying, we were like, you know, I went through college, mm. a school, college, university, yeah. you know, graduation, post-grad, all of that stuff. Well, I went through about four, three, six. You went through about four, I've only ever owned well, two. Well, I, I had a core, then I had an elite, then I bought a slim, and then I bought a Gets War slim. I have my core, which had a, v, which had a video problem, didn't have red ring, I have mm. I have an arcade system that I took to uni because it's got mm. HDMI. Mm. Um, and that's that's it. I've never had again touch wood. I've never had a problem with the 360. Mm. No. PS3, I had a uh, yellow 40 gig, yeah. and I had to sell it because it was worth more. Now this is again, this is the most student thing you'll ever hear me say. Yeah. I loved my PS3. I had to pay rent mm. that I could not afford. It was worth more than my 360. Mm. And I, that that's the end of the PS3. I didn't buy no mm. PlayStation console until the Vita, mm. which I love the Vita. Yeah. Do you think you love the Vita due to not having PlayStation for that long? Yes. The thing about the female, I'm a handheld guy. Mm. Uh, like if you go into my game collection, I mean, I've got um, an original Game Boy. I've got a uh, Game Boy Color, special edition Game Boy Color, Chris. Yeah. Like um, I grew the up. Pokeball. It's but it's the Pikachu one. Yeah. Um, I grew up with PSP. PSP was the, the my uni console. Mm. I, I sold a lot of the stuff. Um, the Vita is just oh, so fucking good. Mm. People need to. It's hard now because the Switch is kind mm. of replacing the Vita. Yeah. But the Vita is just the, the indie the little games you can play, and then obviously. Persona for Gold on it, mm. which is the best game I've ever played. So, yeah, and it's like two pounds. <laughs> Stupid to buy. Yeah, it's like three ninety nine or something. Yeah, it's yeah, so no three ninety nine for something. Come on, it's like uncharted for six pounds or something. There. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what you've been doing. I've been up to weirder. No, there's a few other weird stuff. things. You've still got more weird stuff. Yeah, because those are the two that I'm most likely to happen. Like I said, special edition PSP would be cheap. PS3 would be cheap. There's two sort of. There's a couple of mad ones if I spend all the monies. Right. There's the Atari Jaguar. Now what? So, right. So for me, the Jaguar is a like I had a Jaguar when I was younger, mm. and I've still got one. It's probably still in my attic. Um. What? What is the? Why would you buy a Jaguar? Right. Jaguar. You know we. I said about the Saturn. No, the nostalgia. The Jaguar 
pretty much no one should have any nostalgia for the, the Jaguar. You might have had one. Um, the Sat, the Jaguar, unlike the Saturn, Saturn is a better console by a country mile than the Jaguar. But the Jaguar is so bad that it's good. If you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's that. that. So it's like a novelty thing. Right? Yeah, it's sort of a novelty thing. You look at the whole 66 games on it. Like you know, it's an easy collection to complete. You have some quality stuff. You have AVP or Alien vs Predator, a fantastic first person shooter. Yeah. Three different campaigns. Correct. Great. Hard to play now. Yeah. You have Campus 2000. Which you can get on PS1. And you have like Break. It was on PS1. Yeah, it's one of the first games I had on PS1. Campus uh, 3000. It was, it was a, the whole... You have, I'm pretty sure it's Breakout 2000. Yes. That's pretty much the good games. And then you've got Rayman. Then you have, okay, yeah, Rayman's Rayman. Rayman's really good. Yeah. Fair, I'll, I'll but you have things like Trevor McFern, the Crimson Ga- Galaxy, which has no sound. <laughs> it, it, you have Cybermorph. Where did you learn to fly? I got that. The, the biggest problem with the Jaguar is the Jaguar is actually really interesting if you have a Jaguar CD because mm. it's had a lot of home release, mm. a lot of home release, and the, the Jaguar CD only had 23, 22 games. Yeah. Um, they're all terrible, but you know, Battle Morph is slightly better than Cyber Morph. And there's a couple of things. Iron Soldier Two is quite good. Um. So, but the problem is, like a Jaguar CD is five hundred quid. Yeah. You know, and you if you want homebrew games mm. for a CD console. There's a lot of better options. Mm. You have a Dreamcast, which yeah. is the best option mm. for homebrew CD games. Um, I think my main question for that, for the whole reason for the Saturn, I think for the Saturn, Christ it, I'm so tired. Ja- for the Jaguar, I've been away for four hours now. For the, for the Jaguar, is, I think it's, it's an amazing thing to have in a collection. Mm. The problem is, you recycle your collection so frequently mm. because obviously you live in a, live at home with your parents, or yeah. your dad, sorry, you've got a small room. You don't really, you haven't really got the room. Like, say, I, I live in a two bedroom flat. Mm. I can, my girlfriend, quite frankly, does not come in this room. So I can fill it full of crap. She doesn't care. Mm. You know, she's not going to come in and look at this new collection I'll talk about in a minute and go, mm. what the fuck is that? Mm. She does not care as long as I stay in this room. Mm. So would you, would you think for that reason, perhaps a Jaguar right now is not a very wise? Purchase? Yeah, it's not very wise. And like I said, there would be um, four decent games and a few novelty games like Kamasumi Ninja. Um, and then there's like the middling of the road sort of game. I'm assuming like, Ninja is not a good game. No, but it's, it's so bad. <laughs> it's well known. It's, it's bad, yeah, but it's, well it's sort of like a game one. And then you've got the middling of the road games that are not good, but aren't bad. And it's like, what, you know, sort it's of very one early 90s game. Yeah, you sort of wouldn't want them. So it's a really odd system. I, the two I had, I really enjoyed. And obviously now with YouTube and streaming and that, it'd be quite so, an interesting console. Like if we play the versus of Kamsumi Ninja, that would be amazing. And the Tower Jaguar versus series is a dream. Yeah. That would be a dream. So that is a system I'm looking at. So the other two systems I've been looking at are related to each other. That is the Neo Geo Pocket Color, the actual best handheld ever made, people. <laughs> uh, just it's, good, it's a good console. It's, it's not, but it's a great console. Um, it has Sonic Pocket Adventure. <laughs> so have you been that game? I have. Oh my god, have you been in the game? I have been in the game. Sonic 2, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. It's just a better <laughs> version of Sonic 2. So you're Nomad. So I... um, yeah, so the Pocket uh, Color is relatively cheap to buy. You yes. can get a really nice box from like 50 quid. Right. Maybe, but has some the games aren't that expensive. No, they're not. Um, has it's a, region free. It's region free. It has a relatively small library, so if you wanted to go from complete collection, you could easily do it. But it has one big problem. Nearly all games are fighting games. That's actually not because I like fighting games. I do like fighting the games. Second, the second big problem is a, is, a, is a plus point you just said for the Jaguar. Once you buy that console, yeah. you could perhaps do an unboxing video for it. Mm. You can't really YouTube that console without emulation because obviously yeah. it's not backlit. There's no, mm. you know, there's no easy way to record footage for that. Yeah, so sure. if you were going to buy that console to play it, and by the sounds of it, beyond like few games, I don't really think you would. I would play Sonic Pocket Adventure, because it's the best so how, long, how long is he going to do that game? Like an hour, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. I would play Gal Fighters, I would play um, Kid for Fighters, I would play Samurai Showdown, and Neo Tariff Masters, I would play SNK, Capcom vs SNK, the card fighter oh, game. Cool. Card fighter game is really good, people. Which one do you get? Like two, two versions. Yeah. I would, like, the one I actually owned was the SNK vs yeah, Capcom. Not the cat combat because SNK fans are also like great, Harry, Andy, <laughs> May, it's, it's all good. Um, Metal Slug, I play that. There's loads Mission of Mission 2, I play. That's 
So, um, there's a few odd, weird games. There's like a Zelda-like game on the Neo Geo that I've never played. There was the one that you should have bought when we went to XO. Yeah. Dark. Something or other. Yeah. There was a like a top-down like horror game. Yeah. Like, stealthy game. You would really like that game. Yeah. Um. So it's re. I, when I had my Neo, I had that console for years. This is not why we had so many. I don't consoles. know why I actually. I don't consoles. know why I got it. Plus, obviously, it has a huge base plus point. You can plug it into the Sega Dreamcast. That's true. Again, and if those um, don't know, Chris has a ridiculous. Dream Sega game. did it before Nintendo. Just put that out there. Um, is that true? Yeah, the SNK uh, Neo Geo Two Dreamcast just before the GameCube and GBA. Super Game Boy though. Yeah, but it's sort of it's sort of cross, different. Have crossover content. Yeah, but it's sort of different. I'm thinking the proper thing kind of oh, two systems. Okay. Um, yeah. Bullshit. And the <laughs> other system I've been looking at that's related to that is the Neo Geo CD. Which again you have owned. I have owned one. This this would be the most this would be more expensive than the Jag. The <laughs> games are not they are cheap for a Neo Geo, but not that cheap. You know, it's not AES money, it's not Neo Geo and I would love a Neo Geo AES, but that would cost me Ridiculous it cost too much. For yeah, even the games are like two hundred quid each, and that's like a crappy game, like football or something, like a football game or something. So that's what I'm looking at. Is like they're all sort of odd. Like if you're looking at Neo Geo, get they can get ten quid. There you go. What's that? Yeah. Breakers three hundred and sixty nine. Neo Geo. This is the Japanese versions, which yeah. should be cheaper. Yeah. It's because of the cases, I mm. think. Mm. The spine card stuff. I mean, it's it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive. No, it's really old. It's, the problem is, it's very similar to what you just said about the pocket color. There is a lot. Yeah, of that's here. this is the thing. The, there's not much difference between the pocket color and the, obviously the CD's got better graphics. Or it's whatever. got puzzle bubble. So. And it's got puzzle, there's puzzle bubble on the new Geo. Oh, color. the dreams, dreams, dreams. dreams can Pretty on. much everything that is on the CD is on the pocket color. Like all of like SNK's libraries on all the systems, pretty much that they yeah. have. But obviously they're of different variancing of quality. Um, yeah, so it's like a few weird ones. And it's like, do I go cheap, last gen, and get a load of games for it? Or do I go retro, more on the system, but, you know, can't buy as many games and stuff like that? Same yeah. Yeah. So. £147. Buy an outro. Yeah. Very good condition from Japan, free postage, Chris. Mm, it take about four years to get it. Yeah. Um, then I like I was looking at special edition game cubes. I was looking at the Tales of Symphonia GameCube. I saw a Panasonic cube. Um, GameCube on here. I or, can get one of them right now if I wanted to. Was, I know a man. Russell got one. No, I know another man. Oh, do you? I know another. Man. I saw four hundred pounds with the GBA player on here. Mm. Yeah. So really odd. I I was looking at everything. I had one day. I just looked on eBay. I was looking at Casio's Lop- Loppy or Loopy, whoever it's called. Loopy, yeah. yeah has a whole eight games all aimed at girls. Like, why? <laughs> why would I want that? I just, it's so weird and random. And like, I was looking at the Sega Pico. I was like, why was I looking at the Pico? Because you've got a problem. You've yeah, because this is, it's a Sega console got, that has Pokemon on it. You've got an addiction. Come on, it's a, it's, a Se- it's a Sega console that has Pokemon. An official Pokemon game. By Nintendo is on a Sega console. Is that any good? I have no idea. <laughs> I've never owned Probably a Probably not. So, do you know what you're going to go for? I have no idea. It's going to be one day we're going to do another retro podcast and you're going to. Probably. We'll mostly do it when I buy whatever I buy and we're going to go. So, unless I buy what I'm going to buy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now you listen to me ramble, ramble like Mr. Me- so so my my thinking is a lot less insane than Chris because I've I've had a lot of games consoles but the, the biggest difference I don't really sell a lot of games consoles mm. um my only game sell console sales have been necessity so mm. to pay rent to go to university so in I can't the other day I think I have eleven home consoles right now and mm. like twelve yeah you actually own more consoles I have a lot of games know. consoles I actually own more games but you own you more probably consoles. do definitely. Why well, I own over two hundred on Just Dreamcast. Just because you're a Dreamcast collection. Yeah. Um, so like I have. Hence why I might want special edition Dreamcast because it's the why Dreamcast. Not? Yeah, sport. Um, I don't... So like I have most of what I want. So I've uh, so I have a SNES. Mm. I have a Mega Drive. Mm. I've got PS One. Mm. Uh, I've got. I've got all the new ones. I've got a Wii U. I've got a fucking Switch. Mm. Uh, an Xbox. An Xbox Three Sixty. I've got two GameCubes. I've got a Wii. U. You know, I've got. 
I've got what I need. Mm. Handheld, covered. Probably you don't, you don't need a G-Point cover. Which I almost Pokemon bought, Mini almost bought a while ago. Oh, I don't know about Pokemon. So, I have a, like... Pocket sticky. I think it might be. So, um, I have nostalgia, a lot of nostalgia for the 5th, mm. the 6th gen. They were the two gens I grew up with. Mm. Um, like I said, previously I've played, I've played all of them when I was young. I've never owned an N64. Which I know yeah, is I, crazy, but I've never managed now to buy the about it, what are you not buying an N64? There's a very good reason why I'm not buying an N64. Because um, all the games are available elsewhere. All elsewhere. the games are available elsewhere are cheaper. Or they've been, you sat, you know... Like, they've been remade, the Ocarina yeah. Time 3D. Mm. Um, well, no, I was thinking, why buy Super Smash Bros. on the N64 where you can play Melee? Well, that, that's less of an issue for me, because mm. of nostalgia. But, like, you know, they have been remade. A lot of them, and again, I'm not the biggest Zelda fan. So mm. I'd be buying... And N64 for the Mario games. Um, Super Mario 64 I can get on DS and play with. Or the or Wii U version console. Or the Wii U version console can play with a stick. Um, Super Mario uh, Mario Kart 64 is not. There's way better Mario Kart games on This now. is what I was thinking about the Smash Bros. Um, Mario Party I love. Mm. I Personally, I think the GameCube ones. And I think the reason for the N64 is I'm a big GameCube fan. That is my mm. favourite Nintendo console. Same here. So... I, I'm happy with the Nintendo games. So it gives me options for weirder stuff. Now, I've always had a PS1. I still own a PS1. Mm. I've got a relatively good PS1 collection. A lot of that hasn't got cases anymore. Which do you own Final Fantasy IX? Uh, I do. It's, That's it's, kind of it's right behind you. That's I own good. 7 and 9. I have 8 digitally. I don't own 8 physically anymore. I don't know why, because I've always owned that game. No one won that. It's anyway. lost. I don't know where. I even had 6. I had the Anthology collection. Mm, nice. Um, oh God, I forgot where we So... So I've been getting weirder. Now, I actually was very, very close to buying Sega Saturn mm. because I love the Sega Saturn. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you're right. There isn't a lot of first-party stuff that I want to play. Mm. Well, if there is, you've got to spend the money. And it's just not weird enough. Mm. So the next one that I almost bought... That's that, the problem with the Saturn. It's like... It's, it's not... But it's not it's good mainstream, as, but it's not, not mainstream. Not yeah, it's sense. not, you know, as good as the PS1 or the N64. And it's, it's not as weird as, 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 a, like a, as a Jag or Neo Geo. Yeah, yeah. So the one I was very close to buying, and I probably will still buy at some point because I, it fascinates me, is the uh, Amiga 30, CD32, mm. which is very British. What would you buy on that? I don't know much. It's one of the systems I've not owned, and I don't know much about it. Well, the thing about the Amiga CD32 was essentially um, it had all great ports of classic Amiga games. Mm. So like Amiga CD, CD games has games like Cannon Fodder and other such things. Again, I don't know a lot about it, but it's so British that it interests me. It does interest me a lot, and every time I watch a video about it, um, it seems really good. Um, in, a, in an interesting way, it's very black, it's very British. Um, that's what, that's actually a console that I will probably buy at some point. It's actually not that expensive. I saw one on eBay this morning for about fifty pounds. Um, the, bid, the bidding will probably get to about ninety, I think. Mm. Um, the console that I am definitely collecting for. Okay, well, we'll go for the other one. There was one more that I almost got, yeah. um, and that was the Mega CD. Yeah. Um, the problem with the Mega CD uh, is actually not the games because mm. they're actually well priced and there's some decent stuff on there the problem is that it runs through the Mega Drive so the colouring palette is not that good so a lot, of the, a lot of the games that you would buy for the benefit of the CD mm. are simply not worth it because they just look crap mm. because it's, it's put through the 16-bit 16, the 16 bus mm. I've had the Mega CD and I've had a multi-mega that I could play Mega CD the multi-mega isn't too bad because it has the outdoor um, line, but... I just think games are lacking on it. Sonic CD is great. I own that. On Night Trap, right. which is coming to like PS4 and Xbox One, is like again with the whole it's so bad it's good sort of thing. Also, one of the worst versions of that game. Yeah. Um, but apart from them two, and like, there's nothing there's, else. You're, you're really... looking at stuff so like if you like like Road Avenger, uh, Final Fight is mm. got. Really oh yeah, cool. and there's good. Yeah, Final Fight is. The arcade about Batman Returns mm. and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so I decided against the Mega CD. Yeah. And I actually bought some games for another console that I've don't never know. seen. So I'm. You don't know the console yet. I don't know the console yet. I'm being very smart about this, and this is going to blow Chris's mind more than anyone. Um, so I've seen a lot of consoles when they were relevant. So I remember walking into an electronic boutiques store mm. in Taunton, and I saw the Neo Geo Pocket Color when it was a thing, and I saw it on a stand, and I was like, what? And I've seen, obviously, I owned a Dreamcast. I bought a Dreamcast when it came out. Mm. I've seen the Saturn when it was real. I've never ever seen a Panasonic 3DO mm. or the any other variation of the 3DO but in Europe really it's the Panasonic 3DO yeah that's what most people would say it's Panasonic so I went and bought some 3DO games mm. now I'll talk through the games that I bought so I got very good prices for these games I think the combined of all I've got six games five games or that 
and I paid maybe forty five pounds for all of these games, mm. which is actually a really good deal. I think only one of them is Pork Edition. I paid two pounds for that. Mm. Um, so I have uh, Gex a Gecko, which was kind of like the uh, mascot almost of the console. Yeah, it was two point five D platformer. It is on the PS one, but mm. hey, but I like me some original hardware. Mm. I bought Theme Park, which I freaking love, and this is a great version of its game as well because it has all the CD audio. And this is also on the Jaguar, which is mm-hmm. that weird early 90s thing. It's like weird PC ports. This actually came with a really sick-ass demo and is in amazing condition. What's on the demo? Uh, the demo is the EA collection. Does it say what's on it? Yes, it comes with a booklet for the demo. Oh, I love it. So this book. is a really... I want to look for it. So Chris can go through that. This is a really good condition. Um, oh, we have FIFA International Soccer. Which we is the John first Matt, FIFA. John Madden NFL Football. The first Madden. Road Rash. Road Rash, which I own. Shockwave. Another Shockwave. Twisted, Twisted which is a really show. good um, party game. Park. Uh, Road the, Track, the, the Need for Speed, Speed, which is the first one. Sesame Street numbers. Yeah, pretty Sherlock good. Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is actually pretty fun. Super Wing Commander. Great. Oh yeah, I forgot the Wing Commander. And Wing Commander Three as well. Yeah, Syndicate. Mark Hamill. Um, Syndicate, which I won't go into about in a minute. 3D Atlas, Wing Commander Three, awesome. Rebel Soul. Rebel Soul is on my CD. Yeah. I'd a lot of these that. games are. And Monster, uh, Monster Manor. Monster Manor, which is cool. So like that's you know like you're just talking for that book but that's actually probably more than the Jaguar mm. in terms of like interesting games. Yeah, the 3DO is a console I've not owned. Again, I've owned like a Philips CDI, which most people would which like. is the kind of one before I think is like it's, it's not as good. It's no, not it's, a the gen, it's the Gen like Gen four. Fire, four it, yeah, yeah it's, the, uh, it's the main drive sort of uh, it's next generation. Mm. That actually has a boatload of games, yeah. but most of them interactive, multimedia, educational. Crap. Yeah. It and then if you the really the things you want to own on the CDI are the three really bad Zelda's and Hotel Mario. Hotel Mario, and that's about it. I really I think it's not a uh, Blade Runner, but there's a game like Blade Runner, like a futuristic beat, um, you know, first motion video game, um, game. I'm sure it's on the CDI, and not the Yo. That's just be really good, but I can't remember what it's called. Is it not called Blade Runner? There was a, an early No, that's a PC game. It's not for Three Snorts or Snatcher. No, or it's... No, Snatcher it's is the only reason I buy a Mega CD for it. It's a full motion video game, but well, I can't remember what it is. But I, I've, not really got, good. I've not gone deep enough yet. And I think it's obviously not for not really yet, but I'm not sure which one. So, like, like, Chris, like we were both saying, the, the early 90s was a very interesting era of games. Very Because everyone tried to have a go. Everyone tried to have a go. And, like... Even Apple, everyone forgets Apple actually has had a go. Yes, the Pippin, it was terrible. Um, you will never see me buy a Pippin. Has um, an exclusive Power Rangers game on. Which is terrible. Yeah, it's still it's terrible. Power Rangers. Um, so, oh, you pretty ruined my Dragon Ball person. Um, so, like, it's a very interesting era of games. It's, it's an era of games that I grew up with. Um, obviously, like, well, I had all the successful versions. So I had, yeah, I had the PS1, and then I had the, the, the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive beforehand, which didn't have as many of the interesting games. Um, it's just doing so. So I was thinking, right, because I've done a lot of research into this. I'm not the type of person that just the, the wall Chris Pangeli and just go and spend six hundred quid. And I was like, okay. So I also got we'll go for what else I got. So I got Syndicate, um, which is the original. It's a top down like mission based thing. It's got all the cybernetic goodness of the remake, the sort of reimagining that came out a few years ago. Um, again, Bullfrog, really good condition. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite games on the Amiga. Uh, it's cannon fodder. Yeah, cannon fodder was in a small case. It's in a small case, and, it, and it literally it. looks like clip art, but that is actually the booklet. Mm. It's not got a little sleeve. That so, is like a Japanese Saturn game. Stuff. Yeah, the, the free game. in America was all long box. It was all the EA and Crystal mm. Dynamics games are um, dual case. Dual, dual dual case, and this is just like a standard mm. case. Um, really fun game. It's got a really hilarious intro song in the free game version. Mm. Um, again, really can't talk about how much that game is awesome. I got an awful strategy RPG that is sealed mm. and it's called Guardian Heroes, I think, or Guardian War in America. Kind of Guardian Heroes, that's the same game. Correct, it's Guardian War then, because yeah. I know there's two of them. This one's called Powers Kingdom, which is a Panasonic published game, Jesus. and it literally looks like crap. Mm. It looks like it was made by kids. This is sealed official <laughs> video game, you yeah. know? And the last one, which is the worst condition, but I'm going to fix it up. Probably the best game on the console. That you own? No, most people say this is the best game on the console. Really? This is the best reviewed game on the console. That is Road Rash. It's a really good version of Road Rash. Again, I've played the original game on the Mega Drive, on the Mega Drive which I loved. Mm-hmm. And I played Road Rage on the PlayStation. Um, got Soundgarden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm... I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited for the video. Yes, videos yeah. are weird. Like this, uh, it's I've... really hidden. I've People not owned, really don't talk about it. If not own one, 
and then when you start, you took it's like this is a gut, if you weren't buying one and you said about getting a retro console, I might be tempted myself because that is a good, you know, we're talking about the Jag, that is a decent lot of games. Oh, that's, that is that's, better than most of these games. So I'm, you know, maybe you should buy it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But the thing, the thing about me, that this is the <clears throat> the difference. I am not going to rush into buying the console. Mm. Now, you can probably pick because um, again, it's a region free console. Yeah. You can probably pick up a Japanese FC1 mm. for about 50, 60 pounds, um, which is very reasonably priced. You can probably get a good one with a couple controllers for about 100. Mm. I really want a boxed FC10, mm. which is about 200 pounds. Purely because I'm a, I am a collector, I have the space mm. to get a boxed console. Yeah. Um, ideally, I want all of them. I want an FC1, an FC10, I want a Sanyo, I want a Gold Star, I want all of them. You know, I like the controllers. I find the daisy chain fascinating. The controller is basically a Super Nintendo controller that's had sex with a Mega Drive controller. Great. It's got really lots of really good accessories. It's got a VCG card that's quite cheap. I've seen very numerous boxed memory unit um, cards. Obviously, it's got memory expansion. Um, mouse and keyboard, I've seen. It's like great. I've seen theme park, I expect. Exactly, cannon fodder. Um, and syndicate. I've seen arcade sticks. I've seen steering wheels. You know, I'm like, where was this console? Yeah, it gets really weird. Cause you know, look at it. It's, it's like two point two point four, two point six million yeah. units, which yeah. is quite good. Yeah, it's really weird because it has like mainly due to fr- um, EA. Yeah, yeah. I was a trip walking. I suppose, yeah, trip but walking. it has a really, like it has space soak on it. it has the wing commander games on it? it has um. Police knots on there. A great version of Doom. A great night, version of Wolfenstein. Night game. traps on there. Night trap is, is until now is the probably the best version because it has very good, very yeah, high view output. It has a really but... decent uh, library. The library is about two hundred, so it's relatively small. It's pretty decent. And region, it's like, like I said, region free. It's re- you know, it's really good. It's like out of the weird crappy systems, it's mostly the best one. Because you compare it to Jag, it's better than the Jag. It's better, Way than, better, than, Jag. better than the CDI. It's cheaper to buy and it has more varied library than the Neo Geo CD, um, better than the CD32, and then the only other systems are weird ones like your Pippins, your, you know, your ba- um, what's the other, Play DR, or whatever it's called, the other Bandai one. The only other weird system that could possibly top this is, a, um, is from the Mega Drive uh, SNES generation, that's the Turbo Graphics. The, tour graphics is, the problem with tour graphics is it's very expensive. Okay. You have to go for a PG engine yeah. for a start. So, so if you're looking right, so well, I've just done a quick 3D game search yeah. for Chris to, to illustrate my point here. Return Fire, which is a great game, £7 buy it now. Mm-hmm. Sealed Japanese version of Pilot Nauts. Police Nauts. Police Nauts, sorry. Yeah. Uh, pilot, I don't know if that's a demo or something. That's, that's £10. £10. Need for Speed, the first one, EA, £19. Foe's Alley, which is literally the first fight night, mm. at twelve pounds. You know what I mean? Like you, you are just getting some just ridiculously good games. And I'll not forget, there's a lot of great porn as well. Mm. Look at that super, oh, oh. super Street Fighter Turbo. Oh, that is like one of the best versions of Street Fighter Two. Twenty five pounds. And um, there is one game. If you do not buy this game on 3 video, I will kick you. <laughs> and that's plumbers don't wear ties. Maybe it, maybe it'll happen. I'm gonna get. I want to get some of the weird ones. I've seen some really weird Japanese well, ones. Well, plumbers don't wear ties. It's really weird. It's not. It's not though. It's the like the weird porn photo game. There's a lot of weird Japanese like take pictures of like attractive Japanese girls. I can't, I can't remember what the game was called. Okay, it was on Saturn as well. And there was a game where you um play with, like rock paper scissors and she gets naked. Mm. And it literally has like porn in it. Mm. I can't remember what it's called. I think that's the game. Right. But like like I said, like, I'm just running down this list really quickly with you. And there is a lot of cheap games. Um, the only genre I'm really thinking there seems to be not very many like JRPGs. The RPG. support, the support doesn't seem to be very. Right. Even though it's Panasonic, it doesn't seem to be very Japanese. No, well, the Panasonic were not the publishers of the no, console, so it's, it's obviously it's, free. Yeah, the three D company. It's very Western. I yeah. would say it's very Western console. For me, that's not as much of an issue because mm. ultimately I have enough consoles mm. to play JRPGs. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of great Western RPGs there. We'll say Star Control 2 is one of them. It's a mm. great game. Wing Commander 3, like we've talked about, is incredible. But yeah, so... That's Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. Like, like, you know, we've done this at that. That is a one JRPG. We're going to be able to get hold of that. Um, so, like, we've just casually gone down there. There's probably, like, 30 different games that have popped up mm. that are, like, probably okay. You know what I mean? Like, FIFA's going to be FIFA's, isn't it? You know? yeah. Why is the robots a terrible fun game? 
Wing Commander, four disc version of Wing Commander. Mm. Fucking thirty quid. So yeah, that's that is where we're at. I'm probably I'm definitely gonna be buying a three D. Well, you've already got games. Chris for it. will probably end up buying a three D as well. Um, it's really tempting. You just told me if I buy one with it. Oh, you're a dick anyway. If you buy it, what I mean is if you buy a good version of the console, <laughs> you're a dick. If you if you get one one before me, I won't. Stick. Chris, you want to spend your money on crap? I won't. Stop you. Yeah, is it really? Is we could be the two people known for playing three D on eBay. On eBay. My god, I'm tired. On, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. That's what we want. What, with the number one 3 do Captain Quasar. Good name. Um, 3 do um, thing. Yes, it's really um, a uh, strange one. I don't know how much I'll actually play one, though. See, that's the thing. I, I legitimately want to buy it and play it. Mm. Um, and that's always that's the biggest thing for me. And I, I, I'd, I'd like to think that's the biggest thing to recommend to people that want to start mm. game collecting. Is get a console first and foremost you want to play like for you that's the Dreamcast. Mm. Hence why I've uh, hence why you games. do because you you'll, you'll play that game a lot. Uh, see, I have um, I'm I'm only missing eighteen games now. Uh, it comes in for like nothing. Mm. It's not that time right now. Mm. But it's still. Um, yeah, I always get a console that you're gonna play. Mm. That's my first tip for game collecting because you know it's all well and nice having it on a shelf, but I always find it so much more interesting. Like. How interesting is it going to be when we do a video where we play <laughs> fucking Road Rash, mm. you know, and like all that good stuff? Terrible condition. Mm. But yeah, I suppose that kind of wraps up. Yeah. The um, retro cast. We should all go buy Virtual Boys instead. The retro Boy, never buy a Virtual Boy. I've owned two. You're Chris Pangeli, you've owned everything but a few years. Um, the two I owned, I swapped swap both of them. <laughs> so, the two Virtual Boys got swapped for two with <laughs> Orange. How like coincidental is that? How much of an issue have you got? How how bad? How much? Right, so that's the main comment. First of all, comment on our list and tell us who's, which which is better. Obviously mine. And then comment and see how much Chris needs medical attention for his gaming addiction. Yeah. But um yeah, so this is kind of like an experimental podcast. If people are listening and like the retro cast, let us know. We're happy to talk bollocks about old games. Yeah, old games are always good to talk about. And obviously, what you said about the homebrew scene in Jaguar CD. The Dreamcast is constantly getting new games. Even the 3DO has quite a decent homebrew thing because it's going to see. Yeah, so even the, there's even new stuff we can talk about um, with uh, retro, which is always. Uh, tweet great. at us if you're making a retro game for. If you're making a retro game for the 3DO, <laughs> tweet at me yeah. at EOF Gizmo. I will probably buy it. If you're making one for the Dreamcast, which a lot of people are doing, tweet me at. And if you're making that's... one for the CDI, stop it and make it for something else. Um, yeah. So I guess I have been here with Gizmo. I've been Matt's dad. And thank you for listening to the yeah. Hollywood Retrocast 1. We'll yeah. see you in the future.